guys, Julia, and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm actually going to be filming kind of a review slash discussion on one of my favorite books of this year that really was amazing to me, and that is War Cross by Marie Lu. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater. So I'm not going to be doing spoilers, but there's definitely going to be a lot of like just gushing about stuff in this video. Like not spoilers, but like I'm just, it's not going to be as structured as my usual reviews are. Literally kind of little tagline of this book is for the millions who log in every day, Warcross isn't just a game, it's a way of life. This is science fiction, so it does take place years in the future, and there's this game called Warcross. It's like a virtual reality, so you put on these glasses, you are in, and you are transported into this world that is very kind of much like our own, but you can go to like a stadium and watch people compete, and it's just a thing that people do, and it's just kind of there. And our main character, Amika, she starts off the, we start off the book with her and she's about to be kicked out of her home and she's actually like a hacker. She is very computer savvy. She really likes Warcraft. She goes in there all the time and she has like a bunch of different accounts. Even though her level isn't up to par with how good she is, she's have, she's, she has several accounts. So she definitely, uh, people under, underestimate her all the time. So this book then talks about how she hacks into the game. She gets in in the middle of a tournament, which causes a buzz all around the world. She is sent to Japan to meet the owner of Warcross and then things go on from there. And it's kind of about that story. So I love that this book takes place in Japan. I love the virtual reality. I love how you could put on the glasses and you'd walk around and there would just be like your normal world, but there would be all these extra components to it. I just thought that was really, really cool. So the other thing I liked about this book was during like the games, like the championships and the tournaments, it just gave me Pokemon vibes. Don't ask me why, cause it's not like Pokemon, but like the way the stadium was, the excitement, how everyone was just so into it. It just really gave me Pokemon vibes. I don't know why. So just talking about the writing in this book, I think it's absolutely amazing. I was so impressed with this. I didn't expect to like this as much as I did. I think it was amazing. Like I'm, I was speechless. I'm still speechless. Like I don't know what to say. It was just really, really good. <laughs> Basically, I'll give you five reasons why you should read this. One, the gaming sci-fi element okay so if you're not into sci-fi don't worry for myself i usually only enjoy sci-fi movies and tv shows i have never been able to get into sci-fi books i have no idea why but this book blew me away and i don't think you have to be super tech savvy or know these terminal this certain terminology to get what's going on like you'll be fine um so definitely read it for that component and for the actual warcross game Next is for the characters. So Amika is one of the is the female lead in this story. I really like her, and I think she's definitely a great main character to follow. She kind of starts off as this girl who's just kind of doing what she has to do, trying to make money, trying to just live and support herself. And she also went through some some things in her past too that kind of, you know. And number three, why you should read this is because of the male lead. I'm not gonna say too much because like I don't want it to like. I don't want to say something I shouldn't or get spoiled or like spoil you guys might get spoiled um but the male in this book is really attractive he kind of has this Warner from Shatter Me vibe like not what he seems like very serious but very cute you know it's just my kind of man just read it like no more lists just read it please like this has become one of my favorite books and it's really weird. The writing's amazing, the characters are amazing, the plot's amazing, the twists are amazing. I couldn't put it down. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. I was holding it in my arms. <laughs> it's a lot, but it was great. I love it so much. You guys should definitely check it out. Link is down below for the Amazon book depository and stuff because why not? I want you guys to have, to have easy access if you want to buy it, but I'm not being paid. I wish. <laughs> But I definitely love this book a lot and it's definitely going to become one of my, well, not become one of my favorites. It is one of my favorites already. So that was my video. I don't know what this was. There you guys have it. That is my sort of little spiel about Warcross Memory Lou. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you're interested in picking it up or not. I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye.